familia, this week we're gonna do a, a different project that usually uh, we're gonna make mortar and pestle. Laminate it. I'm gonna laminate it. But first of all, I want to I want to thanks to three new Patreons that are helping the channel. There are Augusto, Gabriel and Virgilio. Okay, thank you very much, mates. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna do two in a row, but I'm gonna show you just the way to do one because no sense to repeat the same thing. Well, as you can see here, this is the final product. I laminate sapelli and maple. I apply friction polish in the outside, just in the outside. Inside, I used Butcher's Block Conditioner by Howard's. You can find it in Home Depot. It's very easy. It's no needed this uh, particular product. You can use mineral oil. It's safe, it's food safe, absolutely. So you can use it in anything that is gonna be in touch with, with uh, food, okay? Uh, in this case, usually I laminate as well the pestle, but I find out that it's less work and even Let's say more beautiful if you just make the tip. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how. It's not a difficult process. The final product, as you can see, is... Well, one is in the floor, but as you can see, the final product is pretty good. So let's do it. Let's, let's go to, to do a mortar and pestle. Well, we are going to begin getting out all the clamps and then tracing where are we going to have the centers for our pieces okay this piece have a crack so it's gonna well it's gonna affect a little bit for the, the shape not a lot once we have the circles we can go to the bandsaw there is no trick here, just leave the, the machine do it, you know, the tool do its work. Don't press a lot and be patient. And that's it. You don't have to have any problem here. Here we go for the second one. Then we're going to drill a hole in the middle for the warm screw. Here we go. And mount it on the warm screw on the chuck. First step always necessary is the full face mask. And then just balance the piece. And now I'm going to avoid the crack. I have to shape, well the shape is going to be a little bit affected about that. But not at all because this is a it's a classical shape for a mortar, or at least a Spanish classical shape. It's not difficult. It's very pleasant to the view, to the side, uh, to the view. Now a little bit of shear scraping, and we are gonna make the recess to hold on the chuck. This is not a difficult process. One advantage for the mortar is that for those that have a little bit, let's say, less experience, the mortar is easy to, sh to shape and to work. Here I'm applying the friction polish. Just the outside is gonna have that polish. Well, now I turn Again, we are establishing here the depth with a drill bit and we're going to use a ball gouge, a half inch ball gouge. And there is no trick here, just read the bevel, always. It's and uh, step by step, the, as I said, the easy part of the, of the mortar is that it's not, you don't have to leave the wall thickness too thin so 
is a perfect practice project for, uh, let's say, beginners, and they will enjoy it. This a lot. It's, it's a very, it's a skill builder, right? Take your time, and, and in here I change for another ball gouge. It's a half inch ball gouge, a bottom feeder or classic. Uh, edge i mean a classic shape i don't know how to call it let's say the yeah it's is it a classic a classic profile so it is perfect for the for leave the bottom the bottom have to be round you cannot leave any any uh, square mark or whatever because in there the food is gonna stuck so have to be a pleasant, continuous, you know, have to be smooth uh, transition in between the wall and the bottom. Now I'm helping myself to sand with a, a little bit of foam. And here I'm applying the butcher's block conditioner. I did just once and straight on in the video, but out of the video, I get another two coats, leaving about five minutes in between coats to, you know, saturate a little bit the, the wood. So, there you have it. Now we go for the for the pestle. The first thing I'm going to do is the, the, uh, this little insert. And it's very easy. It's like, uh, you know, it's just a cylinder. We're going to shape the top and then uh, make a, a tenon. And that's it. It's very, very easy. It's a quick process. But the result is very, I mean, it's very pleasant. I'm very pleased with it. Not difficult. Here I'm helping myself with a wrench with the size I need. A little bit of sanding and it's ready to cut. From this small piece, you can, I, I made five, so it's nice to have a couple of them around. Just You never know. Once I'm doing it, I don't. I don't care to make more than I need. That's it. Easy. Now we go for the bezel itself. It's a two by two piece of sapelli. We mark the centers and we're gonna treat it as production. We are gonna mount it in between centers, make a cylinder, and then leave the tenon for the, for the chuck you can hold the piece it's a very easy process but you can do this several times for i mean you can produce as many as you want in very very little time again it's a repetitive process Here we go, that's it. Now I'm gonna mount it on the chuck and I'm gonna change the life life center for a Jacob's chuck and drill the hole where our insert is gonna be. And this is a, an easy step, just not too deep, and that's it. Now again we change the Jacob's chuck for the life center and shape time. I recommend, if you are not sure which shape is better for you, just go to Google and, and you, you search for mortar and pestles and go to images. You will see dozens of different shapes and just choose the one you prefer and practice. This is all a matter of practice and, you know, it's, it's a very nice present gift and it's a very a very nice uh, seller so I mean for those of you who sell your pieces why not this is and as I said this is a skill builder project it's not too difficult but you will you will practice with some different tools and you know finishing and you know shaping and you know it's it's very uh, you know, it's, it's fun 
absolutely. I mean, it's funny. It's uh, it's an easy project, but you know, it looks very good. So, sounding time with all the grids until 600. You have to think always that as, as better you leave the surface, as better it's gonna be, it's gonna accept the finish. In here, I'm establishing the transition in between the, the pestle and the insert. I should do this before, but this is another way. Why not? And just a little bit of C uh, CA glue is more than enough. This is a piece that is not gonna have any stress. It's just decorative, so a little bit of more sanding, we are, and we are gonna apply the finish. Again, it's gonna be the butcher's block conditioner or the mineral oil or whatever food safe you have. Now it's done to part, take it apart. Okay, we sand the finish, the, the, the very tip of it. Apply a little bit of finish and we are done. It's not a difficult project, it's fun, it's beautiful. There you have the final product. As always, any comments, any suggestions, leave the comments below, down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And if anybody wants to help with the channel, there is a, a Patreon button just over there. I hope you like it and I see you next week. Have a good time. Bye-bye.